Hey there guys, here's a face you haven't seen in a while, Evo here, and today everyone, I just really wanted to talk with you guys a little bit about what's going on uh, in regards to the channel, in regards to everything. First of all, I am coming back this week, um, you guys will see a video Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, I've just been insanely busy, I got a new job not too long ago, and it's a restaurant that only serves breakfast, but... That being said, it means I have to wake up really early, and as you know, my schedule was not waking up very early. So, I basically had to flip my entire schedule, and it was a pain. Even now, I'm still not, like, used to it, used to it yet, uh, and it does kind of suck. But, that's not really why I left. The main reason I left was everything needed my attention all at once. I have a girlfriend, you know, of course, I can't not hang out with her just to do YouTube every, you know, day. So... I need to spend time with her, I need to spend time doing my job, I need to, and I work every morning. Uh, I very rarely do I get a day off, and if I get a day off, it's mainly used to just sleep and recover, and if I get two days off, which I haven't gotten in over a month, uh, I, you know, usually am spending time with Sophia, and it's just a lot. It's a lot to all manage, it's a lot to, you know... All, all kind of just come together. On top of that, I was feeling a very big drain from PC gaming. Um, PC gaming, to record a game on PC, it is an absolute pain. Now, I know YouTube's terms and guidelines, so I'm trying not to cuss as much. Um, but it is an absolute pain to record any type of gameplay on PC. Any game that's new... Forget about trying to record it right away because you have to figure out the bit rate you need. You have to figure out uh, the resolution that's going to be good. You have to figure out the detail quality in the game you can run. You can you have to figure out the frames you have to do. You have to figure out all of these settings. And it's so much more difficult than, like, you know, just hitting a button and recording. And so when I'm playing a game, I don't like to, you know, take that much time because, of course, I don't have a lot of time. So I've just been spending the time enjoying gaming again, and I think I've finally gotten myself to a good place with gaming, where I feel like I can enjoy it again and, like, actually have fun doing what I was doing. And one of the major games that was responsible for me not having fun anymore with gaming was Dead by Daylight. And that's unfortunate, because I really do enjoy the game. I, I loved it. And I've been trying to not play it. Um... I've been trying to hold off on playing it as much as I can. I did play it yesterday, um, and so I, I think I'm in a good spot. I noticed when I played it, I wasn't so much caring on the outcome of the game as much and just kind of having fun. Will I still try to win? Yes, of course. I'm very competitive just by nature. But I'm not going to be, you know, taking stuff crazy serious anymore. If I win, I win. If I lose, oh well. Like, I, I don't really think there's much point to it it's not really a healthy you know way to live um and with the development team behind dead by daylight being behavior interactive and them absolutely just not caring about a thing you know what i'm i'm gonna stop you know worrying about the game i'm just gonna play the game and if it succeeds it succeeds if it dies it dies i i I don't want to see it die. I want to put that out there right now. I do not want be, uh, behavior. I don't want the company going under. I don't want Dead by Daylight dying off as a game. I love the game. But when there are content creators, you know, Dowsy, Oddstarava, all of these people, they're not trying to be dicks to you guys. They really aren't. There I go cussing. And <laughs> they're not trying to be, you know, just these assholes. They know what they're talking about. They've put in more time than your entire development team into this game. And so, why not just take the criticism? I don't understand it. I, like, Otz has been saying to change Myers for years, and he still hasn't. Not he. They still haven't. Um, another killer, Twins. He said to change, they still haven't. Onryo, he said to change, they haven't. Pig, he said to change, they haven't. There's all these examples. I think one of the healthiest ways to go about this would be if you notice, you know, they release chapter after chapter after chapter. Maybe instead of releasing one of the chapters, you take that time that you invested 
and put it back into fixing the old killers. Maybe go through, you know, the first year of Dead by Daylight being released and fix anything in that that you think could be wrong. Go to the second, go to the third, and just keep going year after year. And eventually you'll catch up to now. Um, it may seem like it'll take forever, but you will catch up and, you know, you'll make the game what it should be. But, yeah. Um, I've finally come back. I am enjoying gaming again. I am all right. Um, and so, yeah, I'm really excited to hop back out there, you know, get into some Dead by Daylight stuff. And it's not just going to be Dead by Daylight. Uh, actually, Wednesday's video is TCG Card Shop Simulator, which is a game I've been anticipating for quite a long time. Um, but, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and have a great rest of everyone's day. Bye, guys.